getting rid of old leaves, providing soil for new crops. South African Mark Meeberg is on a green mission. As part of a nationwide initiative, Mark is showing his community how to grow their own vegetables. I think the thing that makes me really passionate about uh, what I'm doing is uh, we're able to equip people with a skill that offers them tangible, a tangible difference. And it's something that's not going to take me a year, two years. Within a few weeks, you can start eating out of your garden. The project is located in Mitchell's Plain, a low-income area of Cape Town. It was established as a so-called colored township during the apartheid era. Today, it's notorious for gang violence and drug abuse. Working here has its own challenges. Apart from funding issues, Mark and his colleagues regularly deal with another problem. So we suffer from a lot of vandalism, robbery, um, so we get broken into, so for instance, over the last holiday period, all our tools got stolen. Mark wants to keep the youth of Mitchell's plane away from crime. Every day he teaches the pupils from the adjacent primary school how to garden. Being on the school, it allows us to, to connect kids again with the natural environment. So the sowing of seeds, the planting out of seedlings, the working in the garden, is, is making or creating awareness within the kids themselves of the natural world. 12-year-old Tamia is one of them. I like gardening because it keeps me calm and happy. But the project is not only aimed at kids. Through his Food Freedom Initiative, Mark encourages community members to turn their backyards into urban gardens. Mitchell's Plain resident Edgar Corris read about the initiative in the local newspaper. The longtime gardener benefits from the project. He gets seeds and compost and shares his produce with others. It's a lady upstairs up the road, the neighbor. She's fond of the kale and she don't buy a kale anymore. I supply her with the kale. Self sustainability, skills development, a connection to the environment that's what Mark seeks to promote. Thus far, more than 170 local families have started an urban garden. Look at all the spaces that one is able to see that are not being used. Those are the pieces of land that need to be cultivated. We could be growing food because it's there. It just needs to be expanded a lot more, but it's, it's definitely there. Mark's ambitious goal, a garden in every backyard.